right, uh, just as a little side note here, I, I just got out of the courthouse. Uh, it's a month after uh, the court date uh, to uh, get a title for that uh, 94 Astro van, or that's a safari rather. And um, I went there, um, yeah, wear a collared shirt and, uh, and uh, pants. I'm not fancy. Uh, but uh, say yes ma'am and no ma'am and answer her questions and like I said she has uh, no reason not to sign your papers so we're headed to a uh, tag agency now and this is where it's really going to hurt okay uh, we're uh, we came out of the Oklahoma tag agency um, I presented all the information to uh, the people there they did a background check on the vehicle uh, it might be advisable for you to do a background check on the vehicle first didn't think about doing this but uh, if you go down to your tax commission and give them the VIN number uh, they will see if there's a lien on it that probably would have been the best thing to do to begin with uh, no lien on it uh, so it's not a problem they issued me a title and a tag uh, so I'm good and uh, the complete uh, the completed um, operation uh, costs cost me uh, about two hundred and twenty dollars so it, it's kind of pricey uh, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be uh, but now I have insurance and I have a tag uh, for that van and now I can drive it good to go here we are ladies and gentlemen Ooh, new tires look at that new tires and this oh yeah yeah all right we're even legal i even have insurance and yeah, doesn't get any better than that well i got this in the mail today and uh it is a uh, certificate of title uh state of oklahoma so i do have the title for it uh the total cost on that was $140 for court costs and $76 for the tag and the title. So under, well, I've got 220, 230 to uh, get a title, which was a lot less than the motorhome. Um, I just got this back from the alignment shop and from the tire shop. They took both of my spares. Uh, that one's for the 95. This one is for the 94. This one, I have a full size spare uh, on a factory wheel. So that's great. I have to put that up underneath there. Um, I just got it back from the alignment shop, like I said, and uh, they had to put a knuckle on it. And I got the knuckle and the drive shaft, a drive shaft, for $27 at the pull apart. So $12 for a drive shaft. Uh, this still has a vibration in the back. And my alignment guy said, uh, because you lost your drive shaft in the back, uh, it's highly possible that it's spinning around, bumping up and down. It bent the drive shaft. So that's probably where my vibration is. Uh, we're going to put this drive shaft in there and then uh, take a little test drive with Toby and see how she is. But it's nice running around with air conditioning. Oh, oh. Uh, got the windows tinted. And I got an eyebrow put on as well. And I traded that uh, for the installation of a back glass. Put a back glass in this car. Uh, he had used back glass. I'm just doing the labor. So, tin in my front windows as a trade. Okay, well, let's get that drive shaft in there. See what happens. All right, uh, we are underneath this glorious uh, vehicle. And uh, I'm showing you right now my new Walmart uh, oil change pan. Um, I picked that up at Walmart. And no, I did not go inside and pay for it. It was outside in the parking lot and it was full of uh, used antifreeze. So I uh, uh, recycled the antifreeze into the uh, grass island and then I uh, absconded with the pan. Uh, yeah, okay, there you go, free.
Oh, and for those of you who, who say, oh my god, I can't believe you did that. Oh, jeez, that antifreeze is poison. You're right, it's poison to the birds and the dogs and the cats and come along to drink out of that in the evening. So, uh, thank you, you're welcome. I uh, dumped it out and saved a lot of animals' lives. Okay, back to uh, our, our shaft of drive. Now, this shaft of drive that we've got on there is a genuine uh, UAW made uh, uh, Labor Union Three Rivers model. And it's uh, replete with, uh, with weight. Uh, this model here is a, is a rusty model. And if you notice, in this, try to get my fingers out of the way, my big fingers. It doesn't have a weight there. Oh, Captain Obvious. Oh, oh Captain Obvious. Now, there is a weight down there, and there is a weight there. But it, when you're missing a weight, it's going to vibrate like hell. Now, remember, uh, what I did is, is I put, uh, I had to go and fix that, put new joints in it because it fell out of the bottom back here. You know, it fell out of the back because it vibrated really bad, okay? The reason why it vibrated really bad is because he had a weight gone on it. So that tells me that that shaft might still be good. It just needs to be rebalanced. So let's go do a test drive with Toby and see what we can come up with. See if uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, uh, sorry about that last video. Someone had rubbed their dick on the lens and it was all dirty, so I had to uh, clean it off. We're going to get on the highway here and uh, see what happens. So, ooh, smooth. Ooh, 50. 50. Smooth. 55. Oh, beautiful. My God, is this beautiful. Smooth. Oh, yeah, air conditioning. Ah, 65 miles an hour. Look at that. Let's try our cruise control. Oh my goodness, it works. Look at that. Just sit back. There we go. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Good oil pressure. Good temperature. Air conditioning. Nice and smooth. A little wind noise over here, but that's to be expected. It's a Chevrolet. That's pretty good. Pretty nice. Look at this. It goes down the road. Straight. Wonderful. What a beautiful got some tint on it nice going too fast better back up okay well let's take her on back to the hacienda and uh and we'll uh list all the things that i did to this bus and i'll wrap it up okay ladies and gentlemen i present to you the rust free 94 safari van it needs a little cleaning now uh, other than that, I, I would feel completely safe to take this across the country. Uh, I plan on doing a few other little things, maybe the door adjustments, some more lubrication, cleaning up the jams. I've got my hubcaps to put on, uh, outfitting it for, gla uh, for glass work, cleaning the windows. Uh, some, some small little things I need to do, but essentially I'm done and I'm pretty much done videoing this. Uh, okay, cash total. Uh, parts were from Rock Auto. Spare tire, rim, 50 bucks. Trailer hitch, 40 bucks. Seal roof inside with urethane, 5. Seal brake light, silicone, 5. Price of van, I installed the glass for a customer. I, price is uh, all the stuff that I use is 70 bucks. Fuel pump, gas fuel filter, $80. Transmission fluid flush, 45 brake fluid, 5 lubricant spray, $10 drive shaft rebuild and drive shaft was $60. Windshield, 70 bucks. Power steering fluid, 5 oil change, $17. Wheel bearing seals and grease, 40 bucks. Idler arms times 2. Remember, get your parts from Rock Auto because they are dirt cheap. I was hard pressed to find them for seven dollars and fifty cents you could find them for three dollars and fifty cents but i bought the expensive ones steering knuckle out to pull apart a spin bowl twelve dollars lower ball joint i had my stash labor for the ball joint knuckle and spindle was 40 bucks and alignment it was 140 but i put the windshield in for that guy for dave and i did a little trade tint traded it even out for putting a back glass in so he tinted my both my front glasses 
and put an eyebrow in and I just put a back glass in his old uh, Honda Accord solder tape heat shrink was 20 bucks fix the door latches adjustments lubricate and grease solder wires etc that was nothing uh but uh the parts i, I charged 20 bucks for that uh switches heat and air switches uh were ten dollars those were the used ones uh the new lock and window switches 30 bucks rock auto folks uh, battery with five-year warranty that's a Walmart job and the reason why I bought it at Walmart is because there's Walmart everywhere and you can go everywhere to get it same with the tires speakers front speakers cheapies 20 bucks radio ten dollars I uh, got out of the junkyard you know tires I uh, bought expensive ones hand Kukok Optima 70,000 mile uh, with uh, road hazard warranty and uh, new stems uh, uh, lifetime balance uh, 468 bucks. Heater hose clamps urethane, $20. Antifreeze times two. Oh, antifrizzle, ha, <laughs> 25. Okay, Freon, uh, uh, bought a big can with a schnozzle in, uh, in the gauge, three cans, plus three separate cans, 40 bucks. Glass cleaner, paper towel, five bucks. Visors, seats, headliner, urethane, 150 water pump. A can of black spray paint, 35. Water pump was new, rock auto folks. Uh, Brian got me a trim piece. I sent him 20 bucks. Uh, tags title in court was $230. Differential cover gasket 90 weight, 40 bucks. Headlights, new ones, halogens. Mystic lights and fuses, $25. Uh, a belt for 10 bucks. Keys, $15. Wiper blades, $10. Those little stick-on mirrors on the side. These little jobs right there. Oh, those are dandy. Those will save your ass. $10. Uh, rear view mirror, five bucks. Um, an air filter, five dollars. Fuel injection flush, 20. Distributor cap, rotor, plug wires, and plugs, 30 bucks. Rock Auto, folks. Uh, two thermal switches, $25. Uh, and which that brings us to a total of 1975. You mean you paid 1975 for a 1974 or 1994 van? Why would you do that? Well, think about this. I can put 60 or 70 thousand miles on this thing, like that, for 1,975 dollars. The insurance is 300 dollars a year, and the tags are 20 dollars a year you know it's cheap it's it's cheap transportation and everything works and i can work my business out of it so yeah there you go this is a great business van just needs a little bit of cleaning that's all now well i'm glad you guys stuck with me through this whole mess because uh this uh i i, I you know every time i finish one of these projects it's like gee i'm glad this is over with i'd never want to do it again this is another, this is, this is, this is another motorhome. <laughs> Taking a wreck like this and, and rehashing it so it works. It's another motorhome. Well, thanks for sticking with me, guys. And, uh, remember to like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for wrenching with me and checking out my uh, YouTube page. See you guys later. All right, bye. Now for something completely different. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to show you how to do a windshield repair. We've got uh, a rock chip here. And, uh, oh, don't worry about the lines. I'll be fine. Uh, uh, and I'll show you how to repair it. Now, a lot of people, they use uh, resin and fancy machines and stuff. But I just use this. So all you got to do is hit that with the torch really good. There you go. Oh, that's nice. Look at, look at, it's fixing it right up. Oh, look at that. It's important that you use uh, uh, proper, uh, proper tools and uh, have your glass placed in a way that it's not going to put a lot of stress on it, okay? Uh, and so, uh, don't mind the flowering that's going on there. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, it'll really fix it up good. Okay. So, uh, uh, like I said, it's important to have uh, your glass in the right place. And, uh, and you got to have it positioned right and to use the right tool. So uh, be, be uh, mindful of that. 
be very careful there uh, if you don't want to uh, uh, do a bad job, you know, and you want to do a, a correct job. So, so once you get her going about like that, you'll see the bubbles inside really bubbling really good like that. And that's when you know you're really getting a good good repair. Okay? If, if you let up and it's on it's smoking real bad like that, or it's on fire, you know you've got you've got it you've got it done really well. Yeah. There you go. Oh look it's on fire now. That's what you want. That's what you want out of your repair right there. Okay. Alright, alright, that that should be fine. We'll let that cool down a little bit and it will be great. Yeah, it blowed out. Oh, nice. Smells like burnt gourd. Yeah. Now that's a repair that you can that you can count on. <laughs>